Have you ever seen an item in a book or in your personal life and wondered who invented it? Well, today I'm going to talk about a man that was an inventor and tell you about a few of the things that he patented. I'll, I'll tell you about a couple of the inventions of Dr. Gatling and why he was an important person in history by inventing the wheat drill and the Gatling gun. First of all, the one of the first inventions was uh, the wheat drill. I thought this was a significant advancement in the farming industry because the, and we still use it today, it's, but it's not the same version. It was in, patented in August 10th of 1848, and it's also still used. The wheat drill made uh, planting a lot easier and faster for farmers. And because uh, it was thought of beforehand, farmers had to go out and hand seed all of their fields. So this would take a lot of time. And when you hand seed, you either over seed or under seed, which if you get it too thick, it will, you won't get as much, your yield will be damaged. And if you get it too thin, you won't have as much of a yield. And And then when you use the drill, that you could uh, get a far better stand because it would be evenly spread. It worked by uh, when you dump the seed in a box and then started pulling it down the field, it, the seed would be metered out and dropped down in two, where a knife-like piece of metal would cut a slit in the ground, and then the seed would drop into the ground and then they'd cover the trench back up. The second thing I found important about Dr. Gatling was the invention of the Gatling gun, which made him a wealthy man, and, and the thing he was best known for. Patented in November 4th of 1862, the Gatling gun was invented while he was living in Indianapolis, and that is where the factory was located that produced the gun at the start of the Civil War. His thinking behind the gun was that it would only take a few men to operate it, and this could take the place of hundreds of men on the battlefield without risking their lives. And he also thought by inventing the weapon like this, the bloodshed would be so great that it would end the war. The weapon for its time revolution revolutionized warfare from the Civil War to present day by its rapid fire capability. At the time they were fighting with black powder rifles which would take a little time to uh, load because you had to dump in the powder and then put the, the bullet on top and then jam it down into the barrel before it could refire. So the Gatlin gun on the upper was operated on their hand by a hand crank, and the gun had uh, six barrels that would go around in a circle while being uh, cranked. And then when the when the barrel came up to the top, it would load it, and then when it hit the bottom, it would fire. And the gun, it, when it was first invented, could shoot 200 rounds a minute. Although this was a graded uh, advancement, advancement in weaponry for a war. Gatling thought he could sell a lot of these to the military, but not many were used in the Civil War. Most of them were used in the Spanish-American War and sold to other countries. And the invention, although the name isn't still the same, is still used on the on uh, fighter jets and helicopters in the military today. In conclusion, uh, Dr. Gatlin was one of the great minds of the mid-1800s by inventing several farm tools, the first su successful machine gun, and getting patents on different things that made improvements like toilets and bicycles. Dr. Gatlin passed away in 1903 in New York City and was laid to rest in Indianapolis at Crown Hill Cemetery. Thanks for letting me tell you a little bit about the wheat drill and the gallon gun.